Spiders belong to the class Arachnida, including scorpions, ticks, and mites. They've been around for millions of years, making them one of the oldest land-dwelling creatures. Spiders produce silk from specialized glands known as spinnerets. They use silk for various purposes, including building webs, creating egg sacs, and as a safety line when they move. Not all spiders are venomous, but those that use their venom to immobilize or digest their prey. The potency of spider venom varies greatly, from mild irritation to potentially lethal effects. Different spider species create various types of webs. These can be intricate orb webs, irregular cobwebs, funnel-shaped, triangular sheet webs, and more. The Brazilian wandering spider has the highest venom yield of any spider. Despite being relatively large, its venom is incredibly potent and can cause pain, paralysis, and even death in some cases. Some spiders create vibrations on their webs that resemble musical notes. When plucked, these webs produce distinctive tones that help the spider detect prey or potential mates. Like other arthropods, spiders must shed their exoskeletons to grow. This process, called molting, allows them to develop a larger and more mature body. Spider silk is incredibly strong and lightweight. Pound for pound, it's stronger than steel and more elastic than rubber. Many spider species are nocturnal, preferring to hunt and build their webs during the night. This behavior helps them avoid predators and extreme temperatures. In some spider species, males offer themselves as a meal to females after mating. This act provides nutrients to the female as she develops eggs and can increase the chances of successful reproduction. Jumping spiders have excellent vision and are known for their incredible jumping skills. They can leap many times their body length to catch prey. The daddy longleg spider, also known as the harvestman, holds the record for the longest leg span of any spider. However, it's not a true spider but belongs to a related arachnid group. Spider blood, called hemolymph, is blue due to a copper-based molecule called hemocyanin, which carries oxygen similar to iron-based hemoglobin in human blood. While most spiders are solitary creatures, some species, such as the African social spider, live in colonies where they cooperate to catch and share prey. Some spiderlings engage in a behavior known as ballooning. They release silk threads into the air and catch the wind to travel long distances, aiding in their dispersal to new habitats. Spider egg sacs come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from spherical to spindle-like. Some species camouflage their egg sacs with debris or silk to protect them from predators. Spiders can detect vibrations in their webs caused by prey, predators, or even potential mates. This sensitivity allows them to react quickly to various stimuli. To conserve energy, some spiders eat and recycle their own webs. The silk is broken down into amino acids, which the spider then uses to build new silk. Spiders are associated with creativity, patience, and storytelling in various cultures. They've been used as symbols in myths and legends, often representing qualities like resourcefulness and tenacity. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the following video.